Our calories are lower than Bud Light. Our carbs are lower than Bud Light. It's the battle of the brews. That's not our corn syrup. Try the Coors Light Castle. Tonight, for the first time and only on Denver 7, the man behind the bottles, Pete Coors, is fighting back. There's no uh, syrup left in the beer at the end of the day. How he's defending Colorado's beer. I do think that there was an intention on their part to deceive consumers. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski pours into this 360 debate. We're talking corn syrup in the cans. The cost, the taste, the reason. We don't brew Bud Light with corn syrup. Call it Corngate or yield controversy. This Bud Light Super Bowl ad is what started a firestorm in the beer world. Oh, brewers of Coors Light, is this corn syrup yours? Well, 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 looks like the corn syrup has come home to be brewed. <laughs> and Bud Light isn't backing down. In fact, they're now taking their ad campaign right here to the heart of Coors country with these three well-placed billboards. You can't miss driving into Denver on 6th Avenue in big, bold letters. They're throwing shade at Coors Light for brewing its beer with corn syrup. So tonight we're going 360 on this big beer battle for five different perspectives. Starting with Pete Coors himself, he's defending Colorado's hometown brand. I do think that there was an intention on their part to deceive consumers. Coors says they have nothing to hide and are proud of their corn syrup. We're very proud of the ingredients we use. Uh, we use corn syrup because it gives us a very consistent product. He's also quick to point out they aren't using the high fructose corn syrup most health conscious consumers dread. And there's a big difference between high fructose corn syrup and the corn syrup we use here in our brewery. Oweny says none of the corn syrup actually ends up in these bottles of Coors Light. It's all been consumed by the yeast and there's no corn syrup left. Right now we are at liquid adjunct warming. They even showed us where the real gigantic barrels of corn syrup are kept. We get in rail cars of corn syrup and we heat them up to uh, fluidize them. As for any future Coors or Miller ad campaigns taking on Bud Light, Coors says for now, Colorado's hometown brand is going high. I was very disappointed. We need to grow the beer industry as a whole and their actions, I think, if anything, will cause uh, more drinkers to go away from beer. Meanwhile, the corn industry is also firing back. They tweeted, Bud Light, America's corn farmers are disappointed in you. Bud Light responded to the pushback with another tweet, saying yeesh, that escalated quickly. And in the Bud Light kingdom, we love corn too. We can't call this a battle of the beers without bringing in Colorado's craft brew scene. This is my Kolsch. This is my answer to Bud Light. Paul Webster brews his beers on Broadway with a little bit of everything. We've used Pop-Tarts and brownies and you know, stuff to have fun with the beers. But you won't find any corn syrup here. It's a light ale. Look, it's real light. No corn sugar. For those craft brewers who do. Is it against the rules? You just don't talk about it. <laughs> While he would never use it in his beer, he thinks Budweiser's campaign is going to backfire. They use just as much junk as anybody, uh, as any of the other big brewers. It's more than a little disingenuous for Budweiser to say what they said. Which brings us to the head of DU's hospitality school. David Corson says Coors Light uses corn syrup as a cheaper partial replacement for malted barley. You can't brew beer without fermenting sugar into alcohol. And at that tier of beer, Bud Light included, um, it's not cost effective to use barley. Bud Light uses rice, which is pretty much the same idea. There's no difference. He says it's not about health. It's about quality, leaving this corn versus rice debate as silly as dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly, dilly. dilly, dilly. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. All right, so we want to hear what you think about this corn syrup in beer issue, even the commercials that targeted Colorado's cores. Email us, 360 at thedenverchannel.com. You can also leave us a comment on the Denver 7 Facebook and Twitter pages.